This is a quick and easy guide on how to install mods for the brand new Marvel Rivals Mods Manager. This mod manager allows you to basically drag and drop mods and even lets you turn these mods on and off on the fly. It's super simple to install and set up. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is download the mods manager from Nexus Mods. All links will be provided in the description. So once you reach the mod page, go into the files tab. And from here, we're going to hit the manual download. Your download should go to your downloads folder. So you'll need to navigate to that. And then for the actual file, we're going to need to extract it. So once you extract the files, you should have a new folder you can access. So we'll go ahead and click inside of it and you should see a Marvel Rivals Mod Manager.exe. We're going to double click this program and you may see it blocked by Windows Defender. Go ahead and click on more info and then run anyway. The mod manager should pop up, but before we're able to add mods into here, we need to create the mod folder. I'll show you the install path for both Steam and Epic Games, and we will start with Steam first. You want to find your Marvel Rivals game, right click it, go down to manage and then browse local files. For Epic Games, find your Marvel Rivals, click these three dots, go down to manage, and in this new window next to installation you'll see this folder icon. Go ahead and click onto that. This will be your game root directory. From here we're going to go into Marvel game, go into Marvel, into content, and then finally into packs. In this packs folder, we're going to need to create another folder. You need to name your new folder exactly as shown. So it'll be tilde key and then mods. For 60% keyboard users, like myself, I needed to hold FN, shift, and then press the tilde key, which is located at the top left hand corner of your keyboard. So now that your mods folder is created, we need to go download some mods. The modding website of choice is called Nexus Mods. Again, links will be in the description. So browse around the site to see what mods you want to download. Once you find a few mods, all you need to do is extract them. And the program I use is WinRAR, but you can also use the WinZip program that's already built into Windows. Both methods are free. But once your mods are extracted, you should see these .pack files. All you need to do is drag these files directly inside of the mod manager. Once done correctly, the file name will appear and you should be able to toggle these on and off. So just drag all of your mods inside and once you're done, you'll be able to launch the game. This comes in with a built-in launcher if you want to use that as well. When done correctly, you'll see your new mods have been added. And keep in mind, you can only use one mod for each specific skin type. So if you have two mods that are over at the default outfit, you're going to have some glitching. Make sure to install one mod for one outfit. Also, there's no official guidance on whether modding is bannable or not, so do so at your own risk. If you've enjoyed today's how-to tutorial on how to install mods for Marvel Rivals, consider dropping a like and subscribe. We will have many more guides in the future, and I don't want you to miss out. We'll see you next time.